Hey everybody, Bobby Ginto here, and I wanted to bring you guys along with me while I check out a game I picked up not too long ago called Machinarium, I believe is how you would pronounce that. Um, I was looking at GOG.com during one of their sales a few months prior, and the description and screenshots for this game seem to paint a really nice picture as far as atmosphere and ambiance goes. Um, and it's been a while since I've tried out a point-to-click adventure, I think is the name, how the, uh, that genre. So let's just check this game out and see what happens. Uh, the first thing that caught my eye is the artwork. I can only imagine how long this took uh, just for uh, something silly on the splash screen, but let's get started. Now right away, uh, the screenshots haven't lied to me. Um, this really looks like a, a very nice piece of art. Nice <laughs> ambiance sound effects. And these guys even flying around. I mean, I haven't even played the game yet. So far, I just saw a title screen, and uh, I don't know if you would call this a lobby, <laughs> but uh, I'm already intrigued. So, let's start a new game. Here we go. Thought these guys would fly around some more. Again, look at this artwork. It's just unbelievable to me how long this must have taken someone to draw. Like we're in a, a junkyard. Click here. Little mechanical cockroach, that's what it looks like. Alright, so. Setting the mood. We're in a junkyard. I think from those screenshots I mentioned prior, I think we're this little robot guy. So, uh, it doesn't seem like we're in one piece. guessing we uh, have to maybe assemble ourselves here. Is this guy going to help us out? This weird little robot bug. There we go. Alright, we can interact with things in reach. Got it. Oh no, we're missing half our limbs. I have no idea what that is. ourselves. Uh, looks like we got an inventory. I'm really loving these sound effects. Alright, anyway, I think we're missing our legs. Where's our arms and our legs? I think we're getting more tool tip kind of tutorial stuff here. I think I get it. Or do I get it? I don't know. I still haven't found my legs, my arm and my leg. Oh my goodness. Come on, robot man. Oh. Okay, there's a magnet. Oh, this... <laughs> the robot bug wants the doll. Exchange going on here. This magnet looks important. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Just look at the artwork. I'm no artist. I could not even begin to make something that looks like this. So the fact that someone has made something that looks like this is astonishing to me. Alright, well. We got a leg, thanks to the robot cockroach. Now I think we need an arm. Lift ourselves up here. Oh, wait. Oh. He says no. But where's our arm? How 
does he know what you can and can't do? He just landed here from like a spaceship. Gotta find my arm somewhere. <laughs> we can walk with our body extended. A little bit of an awkward shuffle. Maybe this magnet has something to do with what we need to be doing. No, not quite. I mean, it looks like our arm could be just in this pile of junk. I, maybe it dropped down and flew somewhere at the very beginning, but I, I missed that. So where is our arm? It's probably right in front of my nose and I can't even find it. accidentally clicked on the spool of string. So I think I just progressed by accident. I, I guess that's the nature of the game sometimes. Alright, so now I have a magnet on a rope. Obviously this means I'm going to fling it somewhere. Well, maybe our arm is like at the bottom of the ocean here. Ocean. Like a junk bottle. Robot is a skilled cowboy, apparently. Guess our arm fell in the water. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're finally assembled back together, whole once again. Wow! Look at this. This looks like so familiar. Like this is in every sci-fi story, some giant tower-looking city. Where am I guy going? Okay. So this was, this looks like actually level one. The first thing was like a bit of a tutorial. So apparently there's this city with robots that live in it and for some reason they guard their trash pile. It looks like a big heap of trash made out to be a city. So, <laughs> if I can learn by example, it seems as if I have to get across this ledge. But how, you might ask? That is a good question. Let's get uh, Johnson's attention here in the guard tower. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Open the door. No. No robots allowed. But you are also a robot. Is there such a thing as robot racism? I'm not the same type of robot as that guy. You know, I feel like I'm about to cheat, but one of the screenshots I think was of this level on the website, and I think I think the robot was doing something in regards to these holes. Yeah, see, you can go up, so. I feel like the, the description's helping me cheat a little bit. Let's see what's what's up here. Oh, uh, see, there's holes here that made me think that I have to keep going to replace the, the rungs of the ladder, so to speak. Let's see if we can do it again. And again. The light bulb looks sticking out way too prominently not to be of some use. Okay. Oh, is that a giant waste of time? How high up can I go? Oh, okay. Well, it's good that apparently you don't take damage in this game, because I think that uh, if I did, that would have done it. Alright, so what did I get? A light bulb. Wait, didn't this guard have like a... Kind of like a light on his head? Open up again. I have to make my body expand to see the guard one more time. Yeah, he has a light on his head. We get it, we get it. <laughs> no robots allowed, that's funny. 
Feels like that should be on a shirt or something that no robots allowed. All right, well, obviously, there's a thing on my head. Can I? All right, that was kind of straightforward. What about now? Is that good enough for you? This part kind of takes a while. No robots allowed. All right, he has a cone on his head, and there's a cone sitting here. It's probably just the first level, so it's maybe not designed to be too difficult, but so far things are a little obvious. Got the cone. Let's put the cone on my head. How smart is this robot? Is this enough to fool this wonderful technology living in the trash heap? Please. Nope. No robots allowed. Does this mean they're police to this star, I wonder? It's kind of like a white and blue colored mechanism here. So he didn't let me in. I think he... Why not? What color was his? I mean, it's mm -hmm. obvious I have a traffic cone on my head, and he... This is a little bit different. Oh, that same star here. Star, star. Alright, well, something's not quite right. Seems like I can walk over here. What is this? Wait, what is that? Wait, no. That looks like a snail shell. I was hoping I could pick it up, but. Yeah, I don't know what to do either, buddy. Let's try over here. <laughs> okay, just throw them and throw them over there. Oh, well, isn't that convenient? Blue paint. Paint my head. Yeah, I like how he shrugs. If you don't know, and I don't know, we're in trouble, pal. Yeah, well, I'm sure the paint goes in this water or whatever. Man, so much litter going on. So, let me guess. Put the cone in the, uh, in the blue water. Put it back on your head. And now walk up and bug bug the robot man. <laughs> Can't get enough of these sound effects. Please open the door. Alright, finally. That was enough to fool you. He's so that was like almost too easy. I feel a little bad for him if he gets tricked like that. Some guy comes up and asks him five times to open the door. And he says no five times until the sixth time. His cone is blue on his head. Oh no. Oh no. Well, thanks for joining me. Apparently that was level one. A, a nice little introduction to this game. Um, I think I'm going to split each video for its own level. So This has been Bobby Ginto. Thanks for joining me for my test run of Machinarium. I'll see you soon.